Hi everyone, this is Trip with another food video. Today it's going to be Thomas bagels. These are cinnamon raisin bagels. Now if you're wondering why there's only two in here, there's six in a package, and there's another part that comes up here. It's a kind of a tall um, bag there, but I cut this part off to save space. I really had the best intentions of are presenting all six of these in the package intact but my willpower was not strong enough and over the last three or four days I had four of them but anyway I just put this in the toaster I just took it out of the toaster so I don't want to waste time talking I want to get into it this is I did burn it just a little bit see just a little this is the inside of it oh let's get the thumbnail thing out of the way in fact I'm going to use the other one here this is one I did not I did not bake fake smile like all the other youtubers pick out the best one so I'm going to dig into this and I even had uh, four strawberries here just for decoration they're not really fresh cut maybe a couple of days all right let's get busy it's a, a, a nicely toasted little cinnamon raisin I love these bagels Magnifique. This one is just plain. I didn't cook it at all. Okay. Yeah, I burned it just a little. It has such a nice flavor, whether it's cooked or not. In fact, I didn't toast any of these others that I broke into and had. I just ate them plain, raw, without anything on them, and not cooked, not toasted. I'm going to show you what you can put on these, but and, but I didn't do that. Usually, well, always, I will toast one, or I'll toast it like this, and the whole thing together. Well, I'll have to take it apart because it won't fit in the toaster very well. So anyway, I'll toast it and I'll put a little butter on it, some kind of butter, lightly buttered, not a lot. And I will put cinnamon. And you know what else I forgot to get was the raisins. I'll put raisins on it sometimes. So cinnamon, butter, and raisins. But that was in the old days, which, are, which I consider more than a year ago, because now I have to watch my, my sugar. And some people put Cool Whip, something, some kind of topping like that. I don't do that. I've never done that. That's um, just too much other junk. When you put so much stuff on it, it completely it destroys the taste of it. So I wanted to have it for this review, just one toasted and one plain. Hmm. I 
think this should have been the thumbnail like this. These aren't even arranged properly. had these things in in almost a year because when my sickness started in December my uh, ONJ osteonecrosis of the jaw I couldn't eat I couldn't eat anything like this it would have sent me into severe pain and that's why I starved for a while it's another story I'll just mention a little bit that they were very dark days and I tried to be positive and I had good doctors and a good wife who helped me along and, and, and cooked all this stuff for me, this little little broths and, and soups. It, it was just, um, I'm not going to talk about it again. had to permanently get rid of the little the little vase or vase if you want to say with the with the artificial flowers they're beautiful but I just didn't have enough space on this little table so you can put a lot of things on here like a raisins and cinnamon and butter and that it makes it so much better but of course I just want to to present it in its most basic form. And if you're going to put a bunch of, of um, other stuff on here, it's going to mess up your toaster. So you have to fix it in your oven. And this piece here will just not, it just won't go into the toaster very well. How much did this cost? So this came, this came from the grocery store. It's five dollars and forty-nine cents for six, five forty-nine for six. So can somebody do the math for me? That's uh, six nine eight eighty cents. These actually eighty cents plus tax for each one. Yeah, it's like everything else. It, everything just seems so high. Thank you for calling. If we 
are not answering your call right now, that is because we are assisting other consumers, or you are calling outside our normal business hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. It's 8 a.m. Leave a message. We will return your call as soon as possible. If your call is urgent, you can contact our emergency answering service at okay. 800-477-1179. Well. Thank you for your call. Please leave your message, and we will return your call as soon as possible. Well, don't worry about it. I wanted to ask them something about the nutrition. I'll just mention it here quickly. There's one serving of this is is one bagel. Each bagel has 280 calories, which is great for me, but maybe not for a lot of people out there. The more calories, the better. I can use them. Saturated fats, 3%. Uh, no cholesterol, zero cholesterol. Uh, has 17% of sodium, like a, a lot of everything in a package does. Has 11% 11, 11 of the daily dietary fiber. It has 12 sugars, 12% 12, uh, 12 so it has 12 grams, I guess, of natural sugar. And then they added six more grams. I just like to know why do they have to keep adding, adding um, sugar? It's good enough without it. And that's my that's my main thing about it. Okay. I'm going to use a knife to cut this up. This is the part of the bagel that I did not cook. <laughs> I'll cut it in half. If I was dining alone, I probably would not even cut these up. Like this, I don't think I ever have. Kind of big pieces. Thomas Bagels, six pre-sliced. So you know you have to pull it apart, which is easy to do because it's already pre-sliced. Whether plain or piled with toppings, our classic bagels are tasty any time of day. And this is true. I've had them for breakfast. I've had one after lunch many times and like a and like with my dinner or just to have one after supper crispy on the outside and soft and chewy in the middle they pair perfectly with your favorite spread schmear or any other topping combination you love And there are other varieties of this you can get to. There are also mini bagels, mini bagels of, the, of this version, the cinnamon raisin. And there's plain bagels, there's different kind of bagels. And maybe someday I'll try some of those. I just picked this up and ate it. Oh. I always forget, please subscribe and ring the little bell to be notified of videos. Um, like the video and leave a comment if you tried these before. And I think many of you have any kind of Thomas bagel, specifically though the cinnamon raisin bagel, and what kind of toppings do you put on it, if any? Do you toast them? Do you eat them plain? I mean, I can work with it anyway.
From now on, I must remember to always mention the subscribe stuff at the beginning. They say you're supposed to. I've heard the best practice is to just in the first 10 or 15 seconds to, to make that really like a, a, an exciting part of the video so people will keep watching and tell them what you have to offer. And then, and then you will say later, talk later about the, subscri the subscribing business and all of that. But there may not be a lot more of exciting stuff in the video. So I should say this at the beginning, the invitation to subscribe and the like and everything before I forget. This is so flavorful. You see the raisins. And you can taste the cinnamon. I don't think you can see it here. That's why I like to add cinnamon many times. And a little butter, a little butter first of all, if you're going to put it in the toaster, and then the cinnamon on top of that, and then you, you kind of um, pat it down a little bit so the cinnamon will stick to it and not fall out in the toaster. But for the, these are always, there's always like a bigger half and then a smaller one. So this one is too big to put in toasters. So again, I need to move the subscription, subscribe thing up to the front of every video. Sometimes I just forget. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll check it out. This is one thing I have no reservations about. I just wish it didn't have any added sugar. That's my only problem with it. But I mean, that's what sells. So all the best to you. I hope you'll be staying as cool as you can. This is a historically hot week here, and I will catch you later. Peace out.